Hello, Katya here, and here I have like a, a wooden box that I will have like a gift box and I will create some gorgeous wall effects. I start with painting my, my wooden box uh, twice with heavy gesso all around it and uh, inside it and everywhere. I'm using Finnabar's Heavy Gesso as a primer uh, to work on, so I'm sure the texture will stay on the top. I'm always adding, uh, using a flat brush. Now it's dry and I will create some texture. I will add like modeling paste. Uh, I'm using a, a recycling when I'm uh, doing my paces and like that and now I'm adding like texture powder it's a powder with texture and I'm mixing it with the modeling paste you can mix it with paint uh, with gesso but now I want to create like a rich textured uh, uh, surface like a wall effect uh, and I'm creating uh, more effect you make your more like a texture you can get and I would not have it in a stencil so imagine a sunny bleached um, wall that's a crying like kind of texture I want I'm using a spatula and you see I'm uh, adding it and then I can create my texture not too busy texture because still like uh, sunburned and rainy uh, wall is my inspiration so all over the gift box I'm adding the texture so be sure to liking this video and give it a thumbs up it helps the channel and please give me uh, uh, a notification uh, some kind of feedback I would love that. That means a lot of me. Now I have a lot of Art Melange pebbles on my table. I have a lot of number almost. They are not exactly the same size what I have picked out. Almost. And I want to create like a border around it. And you can add like... Uh, some something else buttons or uh, small pins or why not uh, uh, using a mold to create a border and I need to find some more because the melange art pebbles there are, are some in every box but I have collecting the same sizes now I'm adding a little bit more texture once again so the pebbles will like stay I love crackles who doesn't love crackles and now I'm using the spatula to add like uh, crackles uh, I don't have uh, the texture paste so much on the uh, downside of the box that's because I need to how to close it so the texture paste is on the on the on the top and uh, that's why I'm adding like crackles. Uh, in the middle of the box, I will want to have a metallic embellishment, a metal blooms from uh, like a gorgeous flower. And it will be in the like a centerpiece in the middle of my box. Otherwise my box will be like clean and simple. Yeah, more, more paste. I want to create like wings or a flower mm. I was going for wings I was thinking to do like an angel but you will see in the end that I only made not the the body only the wings you can uh, I was thinking also about leaves or a flower but I was ending up with like wings and they almost looks like leaves I'm taking the spatula with a paste and you can make like a test before because you need to like practice. You need to have like a 
perfect amount of paste and then add like a blob and then push and uh, go with the spatula to get like the fur the one will stay and that's why I'm using texture paste because I want the paste to be so thick so it can make this kind of surfaces uh, and pattern and that you're not able to do with modeling paste it's too wet so make it dry enough and you can practice uh, on something else so you know uh, I wasn't looking for perfection, but you see, I'm taking the paste, I'm adding it, pushing it down and move it. And uh, I got my wings almost like a butterfly. And that's what I was looking for, like a fluffy butterfly or wings, something like that. Uh, and I can have my handle and my in the middle and here I decided that only to keep the wings that was enough for me the box uh, was going for was a little bit more clean and simple this time adding some leftover paste for even more texture on the top and like I said I don't have so much on the bottom little bit only of the texture and little bit around the uh, my art medange pebbles also to give like the pebbles will a little bit stay and that was great i didn't add, need to have any else to add the pebbles because they will glue and stick in the modeling paste now I paint everything when it's dry, remember, with the white heavy gesso. Then it's time for the metallic flakes. Yes, this wall effect also have like a little bit goldish effect. So I start with the uh, Fina Bear's uh, gilding glue and adding it a little bit here and there and going with the brush. And it needs to be dry and how long it takes before it's totally dry uh, that depends uh, how the climate are where you live right now I have a hot and sunny weather so it dries pretty pretty fast I only need to go with my hands a little bit it needs to be sticky that's the secret so when it's sticky, you can try it a little bit so it's sticky. Uh, sometimes uh, you can use like a heating gun or something like that. But this time I have hot and sunny weather. And now I'm adding the metallic flakes. I'm using only gold. And you see I'm taking them out and tapping out where I have the gilding glue sticky and tapping it on and adding it here and there and it makes like a beautiful, beautiful effect. Yeah, I'm tapping it on and look it, I have even some places on the sides where I want, not too much. I wanted to pick it out here and there and it need to be sticky. And when you, uh, you see uh, it will stick well it's where I have like a dabbing brush really stiff brush and dabbing it on so it stick and it will go nicely so I'm tapping on the, the metallic flakes and they will stay and you see I'm adding a little bit even a little bit more of the gilding glue but because it was not enough so i'm going on uh, like this until i'm happy dabbing on with the flakes and if i need some more of the uh, met uh, metallic flakes i'm adding like a gilding glue and tapping it on 
to get the look that I'm looking for. So you see, I'm adding even more here. And that's perfect to add like uh, your uh, style or how much. You can add it on the whole surface or only some pieces here and there like I'm doing right now. And it's very easy to do it. So don't be afraid to try this. And now is a uh, time to add color. I just love the effect like it already looks, like a shabby, beautiful project with wings and gold. Now I have at my table with a lot of uh, Finnabar's matte waxes and uh, Mm, I haven't decided. I go with the flow and I guess I want to add some green. Uh, sage leaves. It's beautiful green from the latest release. And you see I have like stiff uh, dabbing brush and t uh, I will add like a little bit more of the green than blue. I guess I will have. Mm, but you never know, never know when you end up with the, uh, with the effect. But I'm dabbing and you see I'm uh, adding it and I don't mind if it goes more on some places and less on some places. Of course we need to have some blue and this time I'm having the matte wax, the patina blue. And I'm tapping it on on the surface just like that and some places here and there. Not uh, having like a really, really plan, but not everywhere and like randomly. Not too heavy on some places. Yeah, and need even more to have it like a weathered, uh, like effect. So a little bit of the dust, uh, rusty brown, matte wax. And this gives the project like a more dirty look. Yeah, if you want to keep it more elegant and soft and shabby, don't add the rusty brown. The rusty brown is giving it like more dirty effect and um, yeah I want it to look like weathered and a little bit uh, dirty so I'm trying it on that the top would still go on now I will need to have like something that pop against the blue and green so I'm adding a little bit uh, of the rusty red matte wax still and uh, yeah that makes the colors go exactly. So I'm using the rusty red to like framing my bottom. Uh, I'm deciding that. And if you go too heavy on some places with a matte wax, I'm using a baby wipe and drying some of the pieces off. Yes, it's so, it's so easy, but don't weigh too much and be sure to not have too much of your waxes uh, too much because they can get like blobby and doesn't look too much. Now I will repeat exactly the same colors on the top. Uh, sage leaves first, uh, especially but here I will use the same colors and take them in the same order, but I will not place all the color at the same place because I want the wings to pop a little bit. So, but you see me add the sage leaves and now the green and the blue matte wax uh, and now a little bit of the brown to make it dirty. But no colors on the wings yet because I want to create like a, a fine contrast. But on the flower I'm adding the brown but no blues or greens. Yeah and going on all around it to make it like matching the bottom and the top and checking sometimes that it's going the way I want. Now I'm adding the rust red. 
and the rusty red goes on the wings and that's make a beautiful effect with the gold. I'm also using the rusty red to frame it. Yes, I like to frame. Look, and I'm vacuuming off if you get too much, but still go around and round and on the pebbles and down around it because I think that's make it like the, the really weathered look and make it more framed. Also make some extra touches and using my fingers instead of the brush. Here I have two white waxes one old white that is matte and i have a metallic that it's a white pearl i start with the old white i could keep my box like that but i want to make it a little bit more sophisticated more shabby so i go with a large dabbing brush and dabbing all my box with the old white and wow yeah now it looks like how I'm going for white look and perfect. So I go all around it with the white one and adding it. So tone down my effect how it is. So now when I have used my matte old white, I'm going on the top. And this makes still some white, but it's shiny white and it makes like some highlighting and not too much because, you know, my inspiration was like an old wall and a little bit on the pebbles. And this time I'm not using a brush because I only want it on the top. And that makes a great contrast, a great effect together with the old white because the old white is uh, matte and this is shiny and uh, I don't want it to be too shiny that's why I'm using my finger to only highlight some places here and there even a little bit more metallic of course we need to have a little bit of the gold on the top but here I'm adding vintage gold a little bit on the wings and on the flowers only only on the top and right really carefully to not have too much and it's almost not noticeable and you see them on the pebbles I'm looking and it doesn't not almost shown but it makes that little bit extra and I like that extra touches so I'm so happy with my box and only uh, gluing the knob and of course I'm using the heavy body gel and while that one is drying I say thank you for watching and hope you enjoy my video let me know what you think that means a lot of me I read all the comments but sometimes it can take some time before I answer it but sure I read them all and thank you for watching and hope you had a really really good time I really love my box so it will be a perfect gift box to some friend. Bye bye and take care.